All right, so to get started with a Google site, what you want to do is you want to actually log into your Fresno State Mail, mail.fresnostate.edu. And from there, you'll notice along the top, it says Sites. Now, when you click on Sites, it's going to open your place to create sites. If you don't see that, you're going to simply go to sites.google.com, and it'll open it up for you. So if you don't want to click at it from the top, you can get there directly at sites.google.com. But I would recommend signing into your Fresno State Mail first before you try to get into your sites, just to make sure you have a smooth um, sign-in process. So once you're in there, you'll notice below the Google it says Sites, and below Sites it has an orange-ish red Create button. So go ahead and click on Create. And then I always choose a blank template. Even though there aren't any templates here to choose from, um, even if they were, I would highly recommend not using them. So I'm going to call this Sample Website. And what you'll notice is as I typed in sample website, it filled it in down here below it so that it matches. But the problem with that is, is if we all did sample website, then all of our URLs would be the same. And that's not allowed. So I'm actually going to put the date after this. 9, 17, 12. Just so that my URL is unique. It has to be unique. It does not have to match the name of the site. In fact, I can actually rename all this delete, 9, 17, 12. I can make my URL something completely different from the name of my site. I'm going to go ahead and select a theme just for fun. You don't have to, and you can always change the theme. Um, I'll do this microsport. And once I'm done with that, all I have to do is hit create. So I have created my site, and what you're going to notice is if you look in the upper right-hand corner is you have this blue share button. And the problem with that is, is the blue share button is sharing with people at Fresno State. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the blue share button. And it says, Fresno State. People at Fresno State can find and edit. Well, I don't want people at Fresno State to be able to find and edit. So I'm going to click change, click on change. And I'm going to choose public on the web. I do not want people at Fresno State to be able to edit it. So you notice when I click public on the web, it took that checkbox off, which is great. And I want anybody to be able to view my site. So I go ahead and click public on the web, and then I hit save. Okay. So once I've done that, I can see I have the Google logo. Then it says manage site, and then it says my title of my site, which in my case is sample website. I'm going to click on here to go back.